Okay, so tell me about this 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 road less traveled that you have embarked on. That is uh, that sure. is Phoenix Phoenix centric. Sure thing. So, I this this does come from the the cloud production stuff because what I would often do is, and I'm sure this is familiar to many people, is when you have an AWS virtual machine, that's costing you by the hour. And on some of the more complicated shows, the, the vMix project file build could take several hours or even days. So I didn't really want to be paying the AWS bill just to build this project file out. So I would often I'd do it on my home PC, and then I would try and collect up all the assets and then move it onto a, a server running in the cloud. And, and that's great. But the first time I did it, I, I had all my assets in one folder. So I opened the project, and vMix asks me, where's this? And I'm like, OK, it's here. And then I thought it would see all the other assets in the folder and just reconnect them all. No, it did not. It just asked me, where is every asset in the project? And this went on for some time. And I thought, there must be a better way. And in comes the vMix Media Manager. And it's this. Have you used it, Tom? I have not. I, I have to okay, confess. OK, well, do you want me to? Shall we have a brief demonstration? We should. All right. So let me let it, let me demonstrate the problem. So if I open vMix, give it a second. Cool. And if I open this central control show dot vmix, this is the preset I'm using now. And then it's going to ask me, yeah, we'll have all of these inputs. And it'll take a second. And here we go. Where is this? So OK, this lower third's here. OK, now it's going to ask me for it again. OK. And either way, we would, it will just go on with this yeah, forever. So it's probably best that I just actually kill VMIX before we get <laughs> forward to the <death> here. <laughs> so how do we solve the problem? So let's go back to the VMIX Media Manager. And I'm going to open my vMix project in it. So it's this central control show. And here we go. So it sees the this title here, because it says this is online. That's fine. This is one of the vMix standard titles. But we can see here all the stuff, if I switch back anyway, we can, that isn't there, right? So all of this oh stuff is not there, all offline. So let's start to relink the project. So I have got all my, I've actually, for once in my life, I've been organized. And I've got some relative kind of structure here. I've got images, musics, titles, videos. So if we go into titles, I have my lower third. Look for other files in the directory. Yep. So it's that's kind of like the Premiere Pro thing, where you find one file and it says, shall I go and look for more? Yeah. Uh, then let's look for some of the video assets. Uh, they're in videos. Let's relink this. Do you want me to look for others? It'll ask in a sec. Sometimes it takes a sec. Yep. Now look, we're starting to piece this back together slowly but surely. The frame, let's uh, put that in images. Yep. OK, all but one. And I believe that's just our background music. I'm going to find that. Yep. And there we go. Everything is now back where it needs to be. So all I do is I hit Save vMix File. And I'll save this into this folder. And we'll just save this with, we'll just say relink at the end so we know which, which file it is. And now I can reopen vMix. Let's go open. Here's, here's the one I just saved. We'll open this. Open. I used to worry when it did, when yeah. vMix took a while to load. I don't. The bigger anymore. the project, the longer it will take. Yep. But there you go. No dialog boxes. It's all there. All the assets are back, and we're ready to do our show. That's that's amazing. That that is Thank that you. is amazing. So, I guess you bumped your head against the ceiling enough times that you said. Hey, I'm a smart guy. I can fix this. 
I think anyone who's done programming, as soon as you, you start to go down that path, as soon as you do a task that seems repetitive, you will then spend 10 times longer <laughs> trying to find a way to automate it. And that's, that's exactly what happened here. The difference is, most of the time, you don't succeed. On this occasion, I did, and this was the result. That's, that's, that's awesome.